Welcome back. If you're looking for something to do with the kids in the 608, we may have just the thing for your family. Josh Breider's live at Tyrell Basin in Not Horeb this morning, checking it out. And from what you've been showing us, it looks like the place is in pretty good shape. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, the snow conditions are incredible. We had the chance to check it out last week, and this was my first time strapping on the skis in close to seven years, and my first here at Tyrell Basin. Take a look. Well, we're out here checking out Tyrell Basin here as they are open for the season. We'll bring in Nathan McGree right now with Tyrell Basin, and you guys are super excited right now. How many runs do you guys have open, and how are the snow conditions so far? Uh, we got about 17 or 18 main runs open. Uh, we only have one run left to go. Snow conditions are great. We got a lot of snow down out there. So you have to make a lot of the snow, but we've had a couple of systems that have certainly helped you out. Yeah, we've gotten a little bit. Uh, it always helps us to have some snow in the backyards that gets people thinking about us. So uh, we count on Mother Nature for some advertising with that snow versus uh, giving us snow out here. So we make, we make feet of snow uh, to keep this open as long as we can. So I had a chance to check out the runs uh, themselves. You know, what can people really expect out here this year? Uh, so we got some really good snow down. We put a lot of emphasis on making a really good high quality snow as you probably experienced out there. Uh, we try to keep it dry and powdery. We don't like to have it be icy um, so that you can you can have a good experience. Uh, we have our brand new run that we uh, cut open two years ago, um, Underwood Way, that just opened. That's an exciting run for people. Um, it, it's kind of through the woods, so it's, a, it's an advanced run, but it's a lot of fun. So there's really something for everyone out here. You know, for those that have never tried skiing or snowboarding, you know, what would you tell them to get them out here? Uh, come and watch the skiers and snowboarders and see that it's not so scary. Um, yes, we have some steep runs, but not all of our runs are steep, and you can get a really good lesson and learn how to do the more adventurous activity uh, if you're into that, or you can hang out at the tubing hill and have a great time as well. For those people trying to, you know, get better skills, you guys do offer lessons. How does that all work? Uh, yeah, we have um, we have some of the best instructors around. Uh, we have almost 100 instructors on staff, uh, so you can take a private lesson, um, which is a one-on-one. -on -one lesson or you can take a group lesson that's you with um, other skiers or snowboarders that are your similar ability um, and uh, most of those classes fill up pretty quick so we recommend um, booking them as early as you can we we schedule them about two weeks out uh, but we try to fit as many people into those lessons as we can so this is the time of year you guys live for obviously how late do you guys typically stay open and kind of what is your push so our main season hours, or our full-time hours, go through March 15th always. Um, and then we try to make it at least till April 1st, if not a little bit longer if we can. All right. Well, very good, Nathan. Appreciate your time, and yeah, happy skiing. Yeah, thanks for coming out, and I hope you had a good time. Yeah, you bet. For more information and for the hours, you can go to the story on the Channel 3000 mobile app this morning, guys. With today being Martin Luther King Jr. Day, they are open a little bit longer, 9 to 9, so they've extended those hours. So if you're looking for something to do with the family, this might be it. I'm going to be honest with you, I only fell once Ooh. in photographer Mark Schilling. I think the word he used was underwhelming, so he didn't even put that <laughs> into the story because it didn't look good enough for him. But I fell once and it was on the bunny hill right towards oh, the no. end. We did all of the like really, really good like blues and greens <laughs> and then I fell on the bunny hill and it was like a slow motion. I'm like, I don't know what just happened, but I toppled over and it was very <laughs> underwhelming according to Mark. Oh so. man. So after not skiing for seven years, were you feeling it the next day? Were yeah. legs a little sore? Oh my gosh, yes, I definitely was. Like my legs, it didn't help that that day was actually leg day too oh, for my yeah. workout. Okay. So it was kind of a twofer in one. <laughs> but after going down even a couple of times, I was like, wow, I mean, it takes a lot of strength, but it's a great workout and just good to get some fresh air, especially this time of the year, guys. Gosh, I absolutely love that. Up next, some diamonds. <laughs> Let's do it. We can do the, is it the double black diamond? We're going to go big. Ooh. All right. Um, I'll bring the band-aids. Josh Breiner, <laughs> thank you very much. 6.15, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email for a chance to be featured.